So what caused the Nepal earthquake? Well, two tectonic plates meet beneath the Himalayas on a fault line. And the India plate is moving north at around 45 millimeters a year and pushing under the Eurasian plate over time. That's how the Himalayas were created. Now, this is the strongest earthquake this year, a 7.8 magnitude. Its power was magnified by being relatively shallow, a depth of 10 to 15 kilometers below the surface. Now, Dr. Brian Batty is head of, the seism head of seismology at the British Geological Survey. He says the, after the aftershocks in Nepal are likely to last for a few weeks. We will certainly see aftershocks. The rule of thumb about aftershocks is that the, the largest aftershocks are generally about one order of magnitude smaller than the main shock. So that means we might get uh, earthquakes up to magnitude 6.8, which are big earthquakes in their own right. Uh, we've already seen one magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake. Uh, so those may continue for, for many weeks, months after the, after the earthquake itself, although the number will reduce with time af after the earthquake. And, th and those can cause severe problems, you know, particularly buildings are already damaged and they can obviously hamper the relief effort.